Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can use the uh, model, the AI model using Visual Studio using Python code. Okay, so let's get started with it. Uh, what we will do is either we can use a module or we can hit uh, REST API via request module. Okay, so I'll go with the second scenario wherein I will be using REST API. Uh, I'll hit the URL and I'll get a reply from the AI agent. So let's get started. So see, if we see here, I'm using GPT-40 mini model. If you don't know how to create a model, I have already created a video on it. So you can check it out. So once you have created the model, you'll be able to see this interface, wherein you can see the model name and everything like the basic stuff. You will get to know the target URL and then the key, right? Uh, this key is required for the authentication purposes. So yeah, we can do that. So either we can go directly to Visual Studio. I will not do that. I have already opened Visual Studio in my local. So you need to install that if you don't have that. So I have already created the template script so that you know it's handy for us. So what we need is we need the API key and the URL first. So what you need to do is simply copy the URL, paste it over here and simply copy the key and you need to paste it over here. The key is very confidential. For testing purposes, you can, you know, use it here. But if you are doing something production ready, make sure to put it in a key vault. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I'll be deleting this key. So you'll nobody will be able to access this key once I have used it. Also, this entire code will be available in my GitHub. Uh, and the link will be added in the description box. So you can take the code from there. All right. So now what we are trying to do is, this is my API key and this is a URL. So I'm uh, passing uh, the headers as well. So wherein I'm, uh, you know, passing the key and the content type is JSON. So in the doc, we need to also pass the data part, uh, wherein we'll tell the model name. So what you need to do is, let's say you are not using GPT-4 or mini, you are using GPT-4. You simply need to copy the model name from here and you need to paste it here, right? And now, we have something called messages section. Here, what we will do is uh, we will uh, define the role for the system. Like as of now, I have defined the role as you are a helpful uh, assistant. Let's say you are creating, uh, you know, your use case is that you need a uh, agent to basically, you know, guide SQL queries, like to optimize SQL queries. So you will write you are a helpful uh, agent uh, whose work is to, you know, modify or you can say to optimize the SQL queries and so on. So you can give any prompt, right, based on your use case. Now, the role is like, uh, here we can ask the question. So as of now, I have hard coded it. You can make it dynamic based on your use case, right? I have just asked a simple question like, what's the capital of France, right? And now comes the temperature. So temperature defines the randomness. So its range is from zero to one. Uh, if you want, you know, creative reply every time. You need to increase the temperature if you don't want, if you want something very strict, right? So the response should be very strict, very common, and always same. So you can decrease the temperature. So accordingly, you can set the temperature. Uh, just test it out for, you know, your two, three questions. Just test it out. And based on that, just set the temperature, right? And now we are just calling the uh, REST API and we are capturing during the response in the response variable and we, are, we have just written a condition that if the response is 200 which is okay uh, just pass the JSON so we are passing the JSON we are going to choices uh, choices is a list type of uh, you know data from there we are taking the first node and then we are going to the messages and the content right and then we are printing the reply otherwise if it is an error we are just printing that right so let's see, I have also added a breakpoint if you can see here, so that you know the code stops here and let's see what exactly JSON contains. Okay, so let me run this now. Already I have added the key and the URL, right? So let me just run it quickly. All right, so it gives me an exception called invalid URL. So let me just check, oh, my bad. So what I did is I added URL in the uh, you know, key section and key in the URL section. So let me just fix my error really quick. 
right so let me just fix the inverted comma as well yeah we are good now so let me just clear everything and let me return it okay uh, okay so this time i uh, have already added a breakpoint here now see uh, it's at this particular point let me hover over the response right now if you see the response code is 200 which is fine uh, and if you see the content so see the content part so you can see uh, all the json right entire json even you can print it and check it out so we get to know like what our filters are there so hate and then inside hate we have filtered as false severity as safe self harm and then we have a self harm category wherein filtered is false and then we have a category called sexual filtered is false and severity is safe violence filter is false severity is safe so you can see a lot of detail is there right uh, annotations uh, if, here comes the content so content was the question which we asked the capital of france uh, the reply sorry is the content so here it is the capital of france is paris right uh, so if you see refusal null and role is assistant right and you will get the created id and so on so a lot of detail right you can check it out so based on that you can check it out so let me continue it and it will print it here so you can see the capital of france is nothing but paris so this is how basically we can call uh, you know the agent we can use the agent via the rest api there are lots of use cases to it the industry is creating a lots of use cases uh, you know uh, using it in the code and creating some custom solutions so what all custom solutions can be created so you know uh, in industry chat gpt is not uh, that much reliable so you know the companies can have their own built in internal uh, you know ui interface where in internally they are doing rest apis because azure is secure portal and you know everything like it is enterprise level so you know for security reasons you can use it as an internal tool so something like internal chat gpt right uh, if you are you know in the, your organization is a software you know, domain so what you can do is you can basically uh, use these agents to you know review the code so co for it can be uh, used for the code review next part is if you you know are somewhere from like uh, healthcare industry or something like that you know you can use models uh, to give an initial uh, analysis like for the blood test reports so you can just scan all the blood uh, reports and you know based on the conclusion based on the data of blood you can give conclusion via the model itself so a lots of use cases are there a lots more are there so you can just explore all and you know you can use this particular model you can use any model right available in the azure portal and you can write custom solution on top of it i hope you find this video useful everything like the code will be available in the github will be available to you uh, we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy coding